straight ice cap with the red stripe. Chad Smith, I see Chad right behind the white bass cap. One seventy four, Brian Smith. I got you, Brian, right behind the Sims Rapski. And okay, final boat flight number fourteen, one seventy five, Tommy Williams. I got you, Tommy. Come on up, Rat Ranger. You're behind that Rat Ranger. Right, rolling over to flight number 15 now. This is 176 to 188. 176 to 188. Check in time, 520, 520. Thank you, sir. 176, Nick Ward, where are you, Nick? Put that Ranger clear to your right, to your behind you. 177, here at top of four, uh, guys day two let's get it going update this morning I got one and uh, it is it's it's tough I'm getting a little spun out almost it's annoying because I've got some isolated hydrilla clumps and I'm seeing them all over so I think what I'm gonna do is try my best to ride or die out here, at least give it a real solid go, slow down, try to make them bite with a heavy chatter bait, I don't know. But, oh, feeling the emotion. I got one little, little one. I mean, it's not gonna do me any good, really, so. But, it's a start, it's still early. It's not even quite 11, actually, and I got till five, so. 5.10. I was really hoping my morning spot would pan out and uh, 
to get a couple early.
How's it going, guys? Just got home, uh, I don't know, honestly, a couple weeks ago, but didn't really have a good little uh, ending to day two of the Bassmaster Open on the Kissimmee chain. So I'm sitting at home, made it back in town. I had some other work that I had to get done down in Florida, so I extended my trip a little longer. I uh, got some cool content with some other sponsors and stuff that I'm working with. So thought I'd kind of go over what happened on day two. Um, when I got back to where I was staying, some other friends were uh, there and, and I ended up kind of pushing this on the back burner and uh, kind of forgot about it when I was in Florida, not going to lie. So day two was really tough on me. Um, I really wish I could go back and redo day two. It was a struggle all day long for me. Uh, I started on an area that I had caught in a few of the better fish that I weighed in day one to keep me in the top 40 for like the check range. And I caught one right off the bat. So I, you know, I was like, okay, but fished around a little more, couldn't get another bite. Ended up running around fishing. Like I was really targeting a lot of like offshore isolated hydrilla clumps. And uh, I was looking on my Lorance active target. I was seeing a lot of fish, you know, I, th I think somewhere like crappie and stuff like that. But I do think there were still bass around. I think they were just being finicky. I'm not sure exactly if it was the pressure or not, but we did have kind of a, a warming trend the last couple of days of practice going into the tournament. And I had a deal going offshore that did not pan out for me at all. Um, I'm, I'm kind of... It's kind of like a catch-22. I, I, I'm not 100% certain if I wish I would have stayed out deep and just tried to get the fish that I was seeing on active target to bite more, you know. And I think I resorted a little too soon to, like, finesse tactics. And uh, that was something that I've done well in the past on. And I think I let that bite me slightly to trying to stick those in my hand too much and resorting to those instead of maybe trying to make those fish bite a little more some other reaction baits and stuff like that but towards the end of the day uh, i really just was struggling so i scrapped everything and i started fishing shallow i went punching for a couple hours uh, i got one bite right off the bat did that for another like hour hour and a half i think and i didn't even get another sniff so scratch that ran shallow started chucking around like a like a paddle tail swim bait up shallow over the Kissimmee grass flipping a few isolated pads with some stick baits and stuff like that and uh, I started putting together a few more fish and the gnats were crazy it slicked out calm and they were just out and I was like inhaling gnats the whole time it was it was just stressful like last hour of day two but I was able to scrounge up four bass. I didn't even get my limit. I lost one that it was like a 12 inch or maybe that would have put me in my, would have given me my limit. Um, it is something I wish I went up shallower a little sooner than that uh, because I started seeing a lot more signs of life. I don't know. There were just more fish around, so I was catching more. I don't know if I would have really, at least where I was, uh, caught too much size I think some like bucks were moving up or something like that and the females usually aren't too far behind but I wish I had more time to try to fine tune some of that well, that's how it goes it's all about decision making and with that you know I ended the tournament in 72nd out of like 220 something so not how I wanted to start the year but I also um didn't completely butcher the year in the point so far the southerns potentially but uh i still have a chance i still have two more chances in the southerns to try to make the bassmaster classic which is awesome and i still have the northern and central division and the overall points are a little more lenient for you know a 70 place finish or so for me to try to you know rebound that for the overall points in the year uh, for the overall end goal of trying to make the Elite Series. So with that being said, can't complain too much. Little bummed out because it's not how you, how you want to start the year. You know, if you can start the year with a check, that's always a plus. But uh, we got a little bit of groundwork to do, and I'm looking forward to getting to the next one on Cherokee Lake. We got a couple weeks back home working on a ton of stuff, and 
trying to get out this uh, footage to you guys or this content. I got a few other things. There's some fun videos coming up. I ended up camera boating for Brandon Polinick um, on the Harris chain. And so I did like a, a little, I got some like vlog style footage just from my iPhone. So um, I had that, it was just quicker, easy access and I could zoom in and do a little more fine or, you know, like I didn't have to just be running a GoPro while I was fishing all day. I was just kind of picking and choosing what I wanted to film and I could pull it out quickly and capture what I wanted to for the most part. So uh, look forward to that. Um, just kind of a cool little behind the scenes look, camera boating for Brandon Polnick. And then uh, some other stuff too. Might have a video from a BFL coming out that I hopped into last minute. That one didn't go well either. Florida kind of burned me this year, but that's okay. I felt like I couldn't get a good grip on understanding what the fish were doing. Uh, the weather was really inconsistent. It just kind of felt like it was throwing me for a loop and that's how it goes sometimes. So can't complain. I had a good trip. Um, then on the way home, headed up to, or I, I went, stopped on Lake Lanier outside of Atlanta and did some stuff with Sims. So a lot of cool new stuff coming out with Sims. So look forward to that. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we got a couple more videos to kick out before I head down south again to Cherokee Lake. I uh, left my boat down in Tennessee at uh, my buddy Carl Jockamson's. So shout out to him for that. Thank you. And uh, didn't have to haul it back because the sim shoot got a little wet. And so that would have not been ideal to bring a wet boat back to the frozen tundra. So uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, comment, like, subscribe. This video was a little more lacking just because I didn't do that well. And I'm going to work on breaking that habit uh, going forward for the rest of the year. So we'll see you at the next one. More videos to come. Heading to Cherokee Lake in a couple weeks for the second Bassmaster Open. Smallies and, uh, and largemouth. But hopefully it'll be a cool pre-spawn, maybe some spawn going on. And uh, see how it all shakes out. But we're eager to, eager to get back at it. We still got a ton of snow. Look at those snow banks. Yeah. So a little nicer day. Got some drippage going on. Looks like some of it's melting. But yeah, so that's that. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks.